Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV, and I've got a Flywoo here on my bench that has quite a bit of work that needs to be done to it. Uh, the request, whoops, there we go. The request was one, we have a bind button that's broken on the Vista, and we just got done doing a video on how to repair that. This is the same customer, he's got two of these. Uh, and then he wants this thing wired properly so that it can run on the, uh, so it runs with the uh, Flywoo and the DJI controller. So let's look and see what we've got first, because this thing has been, looks like it's been through Beirut. So I'm going to check this out a little bit and see uh, the wiring on here is not that good. I'll show you what I'm talking about, at least from what I can see. I have not put it under a microscope yet, but let me just kind of get this moved out a little bit so that I can show you what we're talking about. All right, so where are we at? Here we go. Okay, so these are the things you want to avoid, guys, and let me explain to you. Uh, it happens, and I, you know, it's just some things that you want to be careful of. So as we know, these quads are going to come in uh, and pound into the ground pretty hard at times, and when they do, when you leave uh, wiring that... Where's my tweezers? When you leave wiring sticking out this much, like right here, what you risk is the falling, right? So you have this piece, and what you don't want to do is you do not want it to be able to move and and uh, and kind of go like, uh, I don't know, you don't want to have a, a lot of movement where there's so much exposed um, uh, wire in front of that silicone, right? You kind of want things to be right on the, sorry, I'm trying to position this, it's not easy. Uh, so like, as you can see here on this yellow, uh, it is bent out, and so then you have the white next to it that is also going in. If these were to, I guess, get crossed at some point, as you can see, there's a lot of movement that's allowed. You just don't want that scenario. Oh my gosh, hold on. I realize now that you can't see what I just did. You don't want that scenario right there. This is what I'm looking at right here. Sorry, I meant to show the screen over. So you can see there's a huge amount of uh, wire exposed. You need to avoid this, okay? At all costs, please make sure you do, especially when you're talking about a ground and a power bearing next to each other, okay? So we're gonna clean this up for this customer here. Not sure where we're gonna start yet because there's a lot of work to do, but um, I would say, oh, I don't know. Let's see, I just gotta remember what camera we're on so you guys don't go with uh, unable to look at stuff. All right, so we have a bind button here that's broken. So let's go ahead and look, because, well, you can also see here, let me show you this as well before I get started, just, just because I want you guys to be able to we can use these moments to kind of like learn uh, a few things. Um, so let me go back now to that. Okay. So take a look at this here. Again, it's the same. Whoops. Where am I at? It's the same issue. Here's the wiring. Let me let me focus here. Okay. I want to point out to you that what you want to do. You have to understand that trying to aim this thing is not easy because it it goes the opposite direction of what I move. So there. See that power wire right there? That's not good. You don't want your wires to look like that. Let me kind of show you why. Okay, here's your power wire. Okay. And you're going to have this. If I just move this a little bit here, it's... can't keep this thing still, but what we don't want to do is it's, it's pretty much right about to break off. That's the problem. And I can tell that. I know it's hard to show you guys. And then look at these ones here. These two on the end, these are way too long. That's an S-bus and a ground right next to each other. Way too long. Uh, and again, on the Vista side, could snap or could at least touch, touch each other. And the Vista wouldn't be too hard. I mean, the S-bus wouldn't be too hard to touch onto the ground, considering how much wire is exposed. And I know, again, like I said, it's very hard to use this. Anyways, all right, so that's it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, now that you've seen it, sorry, but, you know, now that you've seen it, we're going to try to clean it up. So first thing we're going to do, I guess, is let's make sure we have our wiring set. And I'll have to probably look at this uh, flight control, look this up. But I think perhaps the wiring is okay. Um, let me desolder this from the Vista unit at least, and then we'll take it from there. i gotta, I got to have one of these two that makes sense to me. So we're just going to take the power off, just like that, because we got to fix the bind button. Okay. Go. Now, this unit is disconnected. We'll deal with that in a second. Let's look at this flight controller. I may have to look up the wiring guide on this one because this, I don't know this off the top of my head. Uh, and I don't see a label here. So let me see. Assuming this is correct, we'll just go with that for now. Assuming this is correct, and then this would be the last grip. Okay. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to
there you go. So this is the revised wiring. Okay, and on top of that, we'll put some silicone beading right on there. As a matter of fact, I would do it now, but I'm going to get it all over my hand. Now, the only thing I have left to do is to fix the ground wire that they did right here. It's a little too long again. So give me one second. We're going to do that, and then we'll get to doing the Vista. All right, guys, so that's it. That is the uh, repair on this entire quad. So it's ready to go. We're flying with the DJI remote, so we know that's working. The DJI goggles are working. Everything's set. This was a long repair, but it is uh, finally in perfect shape. So we'll send that back to the customer. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Hit, up, hit me up at cyclonefpv.com. We've got a whole support uh, uh, um, uh, page there where you can click on the links for whatever you may need. Uh, please subscribe to our channel here. I appreciate it. And most of all, guys, have a Merry Christmas. God bless. Be safe. And go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it, guys. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace.